Hi guys, welcome back to Fancams, Dave. I mean, massive, massive win. The last game of the season, of course, Brentford. I mean, you're a bit still, you're not wanting to get too carried away though, aren't you? Uh, yeah, but yeah, hope for the best, plan for the worst. That's mm. my that's my motto and I do not trust the EFL one little bit. I really don't. Mm. I mean, surely though, surely they cannot take it away from the players today. I mean, we've seen them on pitch celebrating, Struber's interview absolutely bawling his eyes out. Surely the players know, Struber knows we're safe with the points deduction coming for Wigan. Surely they cannot go back on that now. Well, you think so. You, you, really, you really would think so. And um, I, I've spoken to a lot of people after the game mm. and they're all, you know, different clubs all in our favour saying they can't take it away from, from Barnsley because, you know, what we've achieved tonight, you know, the last couple of games, no, it's, you, you, you can't. Surely, mm. surely you can't. It would be a travesty. It would be a travesty. It would, and it would. And it that would, way from us. It would be very unfair, but just... Talk me through your moments during that game, Dave. I mean, we were watching it. I mean, absolutely. I've never, ever been so uncomfortable watching a football match. Uh, it was a bit different this time round because it was on TV. Um, the, the last couple of games with um, you know, Derby a couple of seasons ago, I wasn't able to, I don't know if that was on telly or not, I was uh, down Cardiff for that game, so I didn't mm. see that. The Huddersfield game wasn't on telly, so I couldn't, we couldn't watch that. The Plymouth game back in 2009 yeah. wasn't on telly, couldn't watch that. This was different. <laughs> we could watch it. And I, yeah, it was. We were the, the better team on the, at the end of the day. We were the better team today. Mm. And I don't think anyone can argue with that. You know, we, we've, we've done everything right. There was a bit from about 70 minutes on where Brentford got back into the game and they looked like scoring. They did score. And after they did score, it was like they thought they were going to score again. Yeah. And we were screaming out for a substitution, just you know, change something because it wasn't working. And he was just leaving it and leaving it and leaving it like he does. And then he makes a substitution. And, <laughs> you know, everyone said about Ritzmeyer scoring the winning goal today, which would have been absolutely magic. But nobody mentioned Clark Adore scoring the winning goal today. Mm. No one ever saw that coming. Asking for Dave, you yourself. <laughs> has been asking for Clark at all, but honestly, I was just feeling every time they came forward with ball, they looked really dangerous. Ben Rama running at us, and I was so nervous. You could tell it defense defensively. We defended well, but we were also we looked a lot nervous defensively than we have done previously, which was to be expected. But they were coming every time balls put into the box. Every it was like I, I could almost not watch. I, yeah, I, I, we we probably were like that. I don't think the players were. The players didn't like. They lacked any confidence at all. You know, mm. I thought Mads had another excellent game. Yeah. Sobra had an excellent game. You know, Jordan Williams had a a pretty good game. Mm. He, um, I, I thought the defence played. They looked really comfortable. I thought Brentford looked nervous. Mm. You know, if any team looked nervous, it was Brentford, especially the first half. Mm. You know, we, if we could have converted a couple of those chances. You know, when there have been a, a couple of goals to the good at half time, then happy days. But we never make it easy, do we? We no, never we make we it never easy. Do. We never do. But for entertainment, mate, I think we, I mean, it's took everything out of us. You said Saturday had took a lot out of you. I mean, this one today must be twice as bad that, that, that what it's took out of us. Every, all, and not just us, all fans in general. I, I've been struggling all day. I've had, I've had really bad hay fever and I've been struggling all day. I've had no energy. I felt like absolute shit. <laughs> and I've had this at the back of my mind and I've got home and I thought, I'm, I'm getting on the wine. Half past five, half past five, we're on the wine. You know, <laughs> calm a few nerves. And then you, you messaged before the game saying, feeling nervous already. I'm, I'm feeling exhausted already. And it was like, <laughs> yeah, so am I. And it's, oh, dear me. It just drains you. It, it does. Mm. It just, oh, but it's always worth it though, isn't it? It's, well, today it's been really, really worth it, mate. I mean, I said to other lads as well, I'll ask you the same question. Uh, is this better than promotion last season? Yes. Yeah. If we stay up. Mm. Well, yes, you're still, you're still holding that. And that's, 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 that's the thing. I, I mean, technically we've stayed up at the moment by default. Yeah. But if we can have not played by the rules, which it looks like they haven't, then, you know... We we play by the rules, you know. We don't we don't pay the big wages. We don't sign the big players. Mm. And um, yeah, I've, I've seen stories about him paying real great stupid wages in League One. 
Yeah. And if you're going to play by that sort of, you know, that, those sort of rules, you, you're, going to, you're asking for trouble. That's We're getting a lot of big yeah, teams. Exactly. They can't afford. They, they don't get the crowds. They can't afford to pay that sort of wages. They're going to get in for it, and it, rightly so. And this is I, this is why I'm hoping they don't get this appeal overturned. You know, I'm I'm hearing things about dates with the coronavirus and all sorts of different stories, but they can't. Man. I'm, re- I'm really sure hopeful. I'm really hopeful that we, they won't get it overturned. Mm. And people, you know, people that are in the know have said to me, "It's not going to happen." Mm. And I, I, I don't think so, mate. Not on what we've seen scenes tonight. They can't take that away. Because no. all fans as well, it's not just us on here do, talking about it, but fans in general, you know, a load of bands and fans will be going out now on PISS and all this and that. It's a great achievement. And I think Struber, he's got to be back, Danny, now. It's as simple as we've got to learn from this season. We've, we've stayed up, like you said, by default. We can get, we, we, we're lucky in general, really. We'd be down otherwise. We've well, <laughs> It, it, it depends. If you play by the rules mm. and we go down, then you deserve to go down. But if we're going to not play by the rules, if Sheffield well, Wednesday... Well, what what, what I'm rules, saying is if they've not gone into administration, uh, you know, and maybe gone in at later to later date, maybe start a next season, so we'd have already gone down. I don't want to think of it like that. But if you think in hindsight, you know, we, we if they don't get them points took off, we do. We do go down. Um, if, we t- if, we, if we take that away... Um, most of this season, yes, we deserve to go down. Mm. We had that little, that little flutter in, you know, January, February, where we beat uh, Fulham, Hull, and Middlesbrough. Yeah, and things were looking good. And then we obviously went to Reading and lost that game, and then Cardiff, and then obviously we had the enforced break. Mm. And then things got a bit crazy, and it's not been the same since it's resumed. As it? it's just, it's, it's like the lottery, a football lottery. Yeah, you know, the the lack of fans has created a big a big advantage for the, the away teams, I think. Mm. Uh, I don't think we'd have gone to Ellen Road last Thursday and, put in and a got shift, a result put in that, yeah. with, a, with a, a full of contingency of Leeds fans. And we probably wouldn't have gone to Griffin Park tonight with a full of contingency of Brentford mm. fans on their last game of the season at their, you know, their old ground and got a result. But mm. it, it, that's, that's just speaking in hindsight, isn't it? We, we could yeah. have done that. We, we, we could have got results anyway. We, but at the end of the day, we have. Mm. And the last two and a half games, we've been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we have. But my, my, only, my only question is, why haven't we shown this urgency for the rest of the season? Well, that's the thing. I mean, at this moment in time, it's looking like we're only a couple of players away from being a decent side, like you touched on, a striker. But yeah, where's it been? Where's it been in other games? Where's this, like I said to Dale, just before I got off uh, to do one with you, that the, the, the team spirit today, you, you could tell as a team how well they were working together. I mean, Walton save. What a save that was. I mean, he's got to be oh. number one next season for me. He, he's been absolutely brilliant. He's been absolutely phenomenal, Walton has. Uh, Radlinger and Collins were okay goalkeepers. I mean, Radlinger made some cracking, especially that Swansea game after Christmas. Mm. He made some brilliant saves. But he was, he was, he's always one you, were, you want to worry about. He's, he's got at least one mistake in him a game. Yeah. And Walton, I think he's, he's grown. He's, he really has. Over the last couple of games, he's really grown. Mm. And I think he's uh, he's commanding his box. He might need to come out a bit more for balls. Yeah, but he's he's really in his trade. And if he's not the first choice goalkeeper next season, then I'll be very very surprised because mm. he's done really well. Yes, all great. Yes, I think it's a no brainer of number one for me, Walton. Uh, so uh, finally, Dave, are you going to be? Well, obviously you're still in a few two minds yet, but eventually, when the news, if the news does come, which so hopefully it does, you know, um, we've got to learn. We've got to back Struber, haven't we? It's as simple as that. For next season, um, like I've said before, we need to we need to let Struber or whoever's in charge next season buy his own players and play yeah. his own way. We've, we've the board have got to take a back seat. You know, mm. um, they've they've got two relegations under their belt now, and it's 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 not working their way. We've you know we went down, we've gone back up from League One. We've just survived this season. Maybe mm. we, we we need to leave the football side of things. People that know the football side of things, no spreadsheets. You know, mm. no Paul Conway. No Chin Lee, we need to leave it to the people that know the business. And if it's if it's Struber next season or if it's somebody else, then they've got to do that. They've got to leave it to them and I'll, I'll back them all the way. Yeah. Okie dokes then, Dave. Well, pleasure for having on, mate. We'll do a season review. I keep mentioning to other lads, we'll do a season review in next uh, few days if, if that's something you want to do over Zoom. Um, and uh, obviously I'll speak to you on social media and everything like that. But 
yeah, well, I'll take it as it is, me. I, I'm, I'm going with what I've seen, so let's hope it sticks with that, mate, for uh, for everybody's sake. I don't think they can do it, but like you said, you don't trust the EFL, and quite no. rightly. I mean, it's took God knows how long for all this. It's a load of rubbish uh, how long it's took. So, okay, dokes then, mate. Well, pleasure to speak to you, and I'll uh, obviously update. I'll, well, I'll, we'll be doing the quiz, won't we, tomorrow? I think tomorrow, if you're free. I've, I've I've taken two days off work to actually um, revise squad numbers of bands the FC for the <laughs> last twenty years. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, cheers, then, I'll mate. Be there. I'll be there. Right, nice one, mate. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, buddy. Take care, mate. See you, mate. Bye.